for bent elbow row with an overhand grip. Begin with dumbbells, kettlebells, or a barbell. Start with your feet parallel, hip width apart, and knees soft. Draw your shoulder blades together and down your back and engage your core. From here, hinge at your hips so that your torso comes forward to about a 45 degree angle at the high point or to just above parallel at the low point, whatever feels most comfortable for you, maintaining a flat back. If your back starts to round, I'll show you a modification at the end of this video. Tuck your chin and gaze diagonally down at the floor. Point your palms toward you. Inhale, and now as you exhale, we'll row. Keeping that overhand grip, draw your shoulder blades together, squeezing that fake imaginary penny between your shoulder blades, and inhale, lower down. Continue, exhale, and inhale. Just a couple quick notes to get more specific here. One is the positioning of our elbows. We do not want them way out here. We want them tucked back as they row up. So we've got about a 45 degree angle between where our waistline is and where our elbows line up. We also wanna make sure that we're pulling the dumbbells up to somewhere between your belly button and the bottom of your sternum. So we've got a little bit of room, depending on what feels best for you to position where you pull those weights up to. The most important thing is making sure that you are using the muscles through your back to do or to initiate this movement. If you are not able to maintain a flat back, have any low back pain, or just want to start out with something that might be a little bit easier for you, one way to modify will be to use one dumbbell and take hold of a box, couch, bench, step. Get into this position. Now you've got the support of whatever you're holding on to. A mole row using one arm at a time. So inhale and now exhale, row up, inhale, lower down, and continue. Make sure that you perform this, of course, one set on each side before moving on.